most of the time when people talk about tax planning, they're saying, how can I deduct, and that means how can I subtract uh, some of my income so I don't pay as much taxes at the end of the year. Every year, when the, when the calendar year ends and you flip from December into January, well, the tax year has ended. And so in the spring, and usually marching towards the, the tax date of April 15th, April 15th is tax day, where everybody that has a job in the United States, you need to file a tax return. And what that means is here's much, how much money I made, here's how much tax was taken out, and in some cases, this would be a good, at the end of all of that, oh, I paid too much in taxes, I get a tax return. In other cases, oh, I did not pay as much in taxes as I needed to pay, and I owe more money. That can happen too. So now what that depends upon is your tax bracket. Everybody that has a job and has an income has a tax bracket. The middle class, which makes up the bulk of, of the, the uh, people out there in the economy, the middle class tax bracket is usually generally around 25%. Now what does that mean? That means in, a, in the middle class, I'm in the middle class, that 20, I'm gonna owe 25% of my income to taxes. So even during the year, even before tax time rolls around and I'm filling out my tax return, I can start saying, okay, how much money is being held back in, in income tax and are they holding enough back? And do I, you can alter that, believe it or not. So, but that's not what necessarily what we're talking about today. It's more of the tax planning part. How can I make the most out of my, the money I have to pay the fewest amount of taxes at the end of the year. Well, what you're talking about is, you're, you're talking about tax planning, planning ahead. So for instance, if you know part of my expenditures during the year is that I have to go buy my own health insurance, health insurance is expensive. So if I have to go pay for my own health insurance out of pocket, my, my employer does not provide that, I have to go buy it. And then I have health expenses on top of that that I have to pay for, well, that can be tax deductible. Now, if your employer provides you with health insurance, like mine, and even if you have to pay into that a little bit, which I do, that's not tax deductible. My employer is paying the bulk of my health insurance. So, but if you have to go out there on your own and pay health expenses, that can be tax deductible. How, how would you know how much you spent? You have to keep receipts. You have to be able to document that this is how much money was spent on whatever needed to be done. So that's something that can be tax deductibles and when to talk about tax planning. Also, what can be tax deductible, again, planning ahead, is when you save for retirement. So there are things called 401ks and 403bs. 403b is actually what my profession has. My employer provides us basically retirement planning opportunities. And so because of that, that I'm working with my employer, that's called a 403b. A 401k is I'm going to go invest in the stock market. Now, any money that you invest in either one, 403b or 401k, that can be tax deductible, which means at the end of the year, when I'm filling out my tax return form, I say, well, I actually put in this much money into my investment account or into my 401k. And then what that does, if it's health, if it's, if it's investments, then what it does, it says, okay, Todd, Todd Edmund made $80,000 last year, but wait a minute. Okay, what, how much did he invest? Oh, he, he invested $5,000 into his retirement. Okay, now that number goes down to $75,000. What's that? He, he spent another $4,000 on healthcare. Okay, now that number goes down to 71. Now you're, you're deducting from your income. Now what does that do? That could change your tax bracket. So maybe I started my tax return just on what I made for the year, my income. Maybe I started in the 35% tax bracket. But as I deduct expenses, my income that they recognize goes down. As my income goes down, my tax bracket changes. So I might have started in a tax bracket where they're gonna tax me 35% of my income. And then through my deductions, I'm actually ending in a tax bracket where it's only 21% of my income. And so that's a lot of money there. And when you're talking of what you're then going to owe the government in taxes. So when you're looking at tax planning, it's those type of things. What do you have that we can use as an investment opportunity 
if it's health insurance, if it's actually saving for retirement. You can even uh, deduct things like, like your house, like if you're paying you know, in, uh, interest rates on, on your mortgage. There are different things you can do to make that starting number start to decrease, and that's to your advantage, because as that happens, your tax amount that you owe to the government will also decrease. So that's what, it, when you're coming into tax planning, that's what you mean. As your life becomes more complicated, and honestly, that's, that's the easiest way to put it. As you get married, as you have kids, as you buy a house, as you start thinking, I've got to save for retirement, that's really when you start thinking the deduction part. The first 10 years of my career, when I was out there working, it was very simple. It was me, and then maybe my wife. I didn't have a whole lot yet. But as life goes on and you start thinking ahead to different things, then you start thinking about deductions. And so if you've ever heard somebody say, I, I need to deduct that on my taxes, what that means is, here's how much I made, and if I can get that number to decrease because of deductions, then I'll owe less in taxes. And that goes into the heart of tax planning. We'll see you next time.